Hey, second grade, Miss Daly here. For today's Wit and Wisdom lesson, we will be jumping into lesson 30. We are coming really close to the end of our Wit and Wisdom this year, so we are going to spend a little bit of today's lesson looking at art. So we have seen these pieces of art in other lessons before, whether it was with me or Mrs. Jones or Miss L, you have seen these two pieces of art. We know that this piece of art is a painting. Someone actually painted it with a brush. And this one over here is a sculpture. So this is actually a 3D object that you can actually see in person. All right, just like a chair is a 3D object that you could touch and feel and like walk around. This is just like that. It's like a sculpture. All right, so we are going to dive into both of these pieces of art and you are going to take a bit of time today to really think about what you think about these images and these paintings and this sculpture. All right, we're first going to dive into our first one. All right, we know from past lessons that this is a painting of what? Good, it's a painting of cakes. Maybe birthday cakes, maybe graduation cakes, maybe you're just buying a cake for fun. What adjectives would you use to describe these cakes? If your brother, your sister, mom, dad, anybody were to walk in and they asked you, what do you think about these cakes? How do they look? How might they taste? What adjectives would you use to describe it? I'll give you about 10 seconds. Okay, see if yours match mine. Hmm, if I were to describe this painting of cakes, I would say they look really colorful. They look really tasty. I'd say they look beautiful. I love the colors of them. Did any of yours match mine? Maybe they look really tasty and beautiful and pretty. What about the painting makes you think of that word or those adjectives? Why did you pick the word that you chose? All right, see if yours matches mine. I chose tasty and pretty and colorful because I see so many really bright, beautiful colors in this painting. I see some white, orange, yellow, even green, some brown chocolate cake, red, pink, all of these really beautiful colors that make me think of happiness. I would get really happy when I look at this painting because I, one, love cake. And two, I really love bright colors, all right? Now let's look at this sculpture. What adjectives would you use to describe these cheeseburgers? How would you describe this sculpture? All right, see if yours matches mine. Hmm. When I look at this, the sculpture kind of looks messy. The sculpture looks a little bit ugly. It doesn't look very tasty to me. Why do you think I chose those words to describe this sculpture? Let's see if you're right. I chose some of those words because when I look at this, it doesn't really look put together. It looks kind of fake. I personally don't think I would eat these cheeseburgers. Mm -hmm. I see some brown running down here. The lettuce is kind of falling out. This looks a little bit runny. The patties don't even look very yummy. It just doesn't really look put together and it looks kind of ugly. Hmm. Now, looking at these two paintings, there is one major difference in the way that we described them. In this one, I said, man, that looks really tasty. That looks really yummy and colorful and beautiful. And then over here, I said, that looks kind of gross and messy and ugly. Why do you think there was such a big difference between these two? Why did the artist show these different two pictures?
maybe the artist of this painting said, I want my audience or the people to see this want to buy that cake and I want them to be happy when they look at it. Maybe this artist over here said, man, I want to show people this sculpture so that they don't want to eat this unhealthy food. Agree or disagree? Agree. So artists want to show everyday foods because they're trying to tell you, hmm, I really need to think about what I'm putting in my body before I eat it, right? Like cake isn't the best absolute food for you. You might choose like a vegetable, a fruit or something a little bit smaller or less sugar, but it looks really, really yummy and you want to eat it. And over here, these cheeseburgers, man, they don't look so good. And I'm thinking if I'm putting that in my body, then I'm going to feel really gross too, right? Agree or disagree? Agree for sure. And I also think artists want to show everyday foods because we see cakes or we see cheeseburgers almost weekly, I'd say. Put your hand on your head, hands on your head. If you have seen either a cake or a cheeseburger in the last two weeks, I've eaten both in like the last two days, to be honest. I had a cupcake a couple days ago for a birthday and I had a cheeseburger on my way back from my family's house yesterday. So I've had both in the last two days. All right. And I can tell you right now, I really liked the cake a lot more, but that's just me. All right, let's keep going. That is the end of our Wit and Wisdom lesson today. Your Google form will have you have a secret word. Our secret word today is cake. Our secret word is cake. All right. What's our secret word? cake. Good. If you're having trouble, just check this one out. It's a bunch of cakes. All right. That is your secret word. Please make sure you complete your Google form, press submit, and I will see you all 